The nearest gas station is about a three mile drive from the Nixon family property in Placerville. Oh, uh, this is Whiteleaf Man's Nita. It's really not a far drive, but Guy Nixon has all the fuel he needs right here. This is actually pretty easy because it busts up real fine. That's because his father, Bill Nixon, drives an eco-friendly classic. What, what is this thing that we're in? Uh, basically a 1913 Model T Ford. Under the hood, the 105-year-old petroleum-powered engine is relatively stock, but the fuel tank in the back has a lot of modifications. So what's the first step here? Well, you're gonna have to fuel it. This is the fuel? That's the fuel. These are wood chips? Yep. This is the backdraft wood gasifier, one of the few cars that run on wood. Ooh, Billy, I'm can't exactly uh, just start this thing up and, and go in a hurry, huh? No, no you can't. No. It takes a little patience, but eventually the old engine fires up. Run it on wood. Yeah, absolutely. The key component to getting this car to run on wood is the large contraption in the bed of the truck. It's called a gasifier. The wood is in here. It's burning, but it's not completely burning. Now, without getting too technical, the gasifier basically heats up wood, which produces hydrogen gas. That gas is then pumped into the engine. Would you say that this is a, an eco-friendly car? Couldn't get any friendlier. The wood-powered car may seem like a revolutionary power source, but the technology's not new. Gasifier technology was often used during fuel shortages in World War II. Bill and Guy did some research on the gasifier, and with the help of mechanic Mike Kearney, the trio built a working model. There's a propane tank, a fire extinguisher from a commercial building, the bed head frame. The gasifier you see here was built from old junk laying around. This is a friend's kitchen, yeah. One of the old ammo boxes. Yeah, it's an old telescope lens. The reason being is the guys wanted to show that anyone can build an eco-friendly wood-powered car. Here's the very stuff that in a forest fire lights up and burns real fast. It's gonna burn. Why not use it? These days, petroleum-powered cars are king of the road, but maybe someday, wood will make a comeback. In Placerville, John Bartell, ABC 10 News. We got some good gas mileage today. All right.